Hey guys, this is Dustin. Just showing you my 14-foot, uh, uh, I guess, bass rig Seacrest here. Um, it's got a 15-horsepower, four-stroke Power Tech 2019 that I actually got off Craigslist um, for 500 bucks um, with less than 10 hours of use. Pretty good. Um, this is where I keep one of the batteries here in the back part here, along with a little switchboard here what's got the live well in the bilge and the live well out that last one uh, there was for the actual radio that was sitting on top of here but I took that off because it made it hard to steer here and as you can see I'm charging a battery so I keep a uh, little three gallon tank and a one spare just in case a gallon spare I haven't even got to the gallon spare I haven't even gone through a full tank with this guy yet while out on the lake um, gets really good fuel economy now one thing I do need um, if you can see here is I do need a jack plate or I need to go ahead and raise that up about four inches so I can get this correct with the bottom of the boat um, just so I can get some better planing probably a little bit better top end speed and if you see under each one of these compartments, on each one of these guys, I have a little compartment to be able to keep a little bit of gear. And then the original seats here are actually filled with flotation foam. So it helps keep a little bit of extra buoyancy. Now I actually did not create this design and bought this from somebody else that was pretty much already decked out. I've just made a little bit of improvements. Underneath here, that's the live well, uh, I'm sorry, that's the bilge pump. The live well is actually, sorry, I lost there. Sorry, the, the, that is the actual live, uh, bilge pump. The live well is down back there. And as you can see, not really a good picture there. Go ahead and fold that down. Uh, I used to have two seats, one back there and one here, but the one back there did not make it easy to, to steer, so I removed it. Um, this is only a 14-foot boat, and it is kind of thin, so it's a great one-man fishing rig, but not really a great two-person rig, unless you're on some calm water or a small lake. Now, here I actually have this Mini Coda V2 power drive. It's only a 12 volts, not a 24, so I actually keep... In this front little compartment here the battery a lot of my gear my throw net some of the other things that you need and then right here wait till you see this live well now look how cheap this live well is it's just a black bin it's propped up got an exit hole got our live well in live well out a little bit of overflow on the tube um as you can tell i need to to Figure out a better drainage system while it's sitting here. Um, a little bit of rainwater got in there from the last fishing trip or whatever, sprinkler water, whatever it is. Um, and then I also have a light when I hooked on, so if I'm fishing at night for the live well. Um, works pretty well for, I mean, a small little 14 foot boat on there. It's really not bad. Well, tell me what you think. Uh, I think it was doing another improvement with a uh, little anchor right here with the spool so I can actually get a quick anchor system built in but uh, pretty sure I can get a few improvements in on this guy let me know what you think